Hello and welcome in the fourth part of Understanding Planner Conquest. Last time we investigated the town screen and started recruiting and building. There's one more thing to do in the first turn, and it concerns magic, another cornerstone of the game. See the book icon in the lower right corner? This means we aren't researching any spell at the moment. But before we open the spellbook and delve into the arcane arts, let's first try to understand how the magic system actually works. We now open the magic panel. This is where you manage the sorcerer's part of your empire. So, where does all the magic come from? A resource called power. Our sorcerer has basic power. Elves and mother magical creatures generate it, as do some buildings and resources. Currently, we generate 31 power. 30 comes from our lord and one from a shrine in our capital. This panel shows how power is distributed every turn. It can supply three things. Mana is the more straightforward one. It is a simple currency similar to food or gold, only used to cast and maintain spells. Research governs how quickly we can learn new spells. Finally, there's Spellcraft. Spellcraft limits our spellcasting capacity. We started with Spellcraft level of 40 thanks to our Archmage perk. This means we can spend a maximum of 40 mana per turn to cast a spell on the world map and additional 40 mana to cast spells in battle. We can increase our spellcraft level, but it's costly. We need to spend power equal to double our current spellcraft level to increase it by 1. In our case, we'll need 80. Right now, we can reduce spellcraft gain in favor of mana. We already have enough spellcraft thanks to an Archmage, and mana is our bottleneck for now. Later on, you'll be getting large bonuses to research from cities, and by then, spellcraft will become more important. Right now, not so much. What else we can do here? Using alchemy, you can transmit mana into gold and vice versa. The right side reminds you what you are currently doing. Research, casting, crafting. Finally, the second tab available here, shows all persistent spells currently in play. As we're still in the first turn, it's quite blank. With the basics complete, we can now open the spellbook. But look at the time. It seems we'll have to delay it until the fifth episode. See you next time.